is unbelievable. Where are we going in this country? Shuore rearrested again. Is Buari afraid of Shuore? See how Nigerians are reacting to Shuore's arrest. Rearrest. Following the news of his release yesterday, former presidential candidate Omogele Shuore was allegedly rearrested today in court. According to reports by Sarah reporters, the operatives of the Department of State Service disrupted the court session and chased the judge away. According to Sarah reporters, operatives of the Department of State Services on Friday morning disrupted the ongoing trial of activists Omoyeli Shuore and Olawali Bakari, attempting to rearrest the two men who were only released from its detention on Thursday evening. The DSS operatives also chased away the presiding judge, Justice Ijoma Ojuku, while also brutalizing a journalist with a popular television station. Following this news, Nigerians have flooded Twitter to express their shock and anger. And these are their reactions here. Someone says, these folks must be really scared of Shore. Freedom of will, power from a failed governization of minds of different degrees shouldn't be stifled. This madness in the name of control and power needs to stop because Omoyele Shore has right to. All of you would think this is Shore business not yours i'm making a deadly mistake if you cannot put 2015 behind you and condemn what is happening in 2019 something worse will happen in 2020 and it will eventually get to you but where will you be by then who is going to speak for you who is going to talk who is going to talk for you and someone says nigerian government doesn't care about laws institutions democracy accountability or ac anything else that will limit its nepotism favoritism, political corruption, and abuse of power. This is shameful. If truly the DSS tried to rearrest Shore right inside the court this morning, then we are deceiving ourselves, thinking Twitter alone will solve the current problem. The judiciary is dead under this regime. How can a perpetual violator of court order be openly displaying a wicked fangs? Yet yeah, the same agency will run to court to seek an order which the judiciary gladly grants all the time. Nigeria has become ruderless. Buhari, our dear president, we know that the DSS are good at obeying court orders and keeping with the rule of law. Even today, they defended the rule of law by arresting Shore in court, making the judge to commend, to commend the grift and wit in chambers. I must praise you, sir, for the good work. The most useless profession currently in Nigeria is the law profession as they are a bunch of toothless dogs who can only bark but can't bite, not forgetting that a professor at, at law of law is also the vice president. The DSS is acting like a stray dog. I beg, let's, the, let's beg the emperor to free Shore. Let's Shore think it through. Does he really want to sacrifice for Nigeria? We are so quick to forget and always put selfish interests above the collective good. I am a fan of Showare and this movement, but understand that everyone will not share your preference, which doesn't make them evil or should make you hate them. There is something peculiar about Showare and his revolution struggle. He is fighting for it from Nigeria and not from Obodo Ibo. Meanwhile, he has a more working idea through which the supposed break up will. So guys, uh, this is really, really, really pathetic. We don't even know where we are going uh, in this country. You can imagine just yesterday. Then what are these guys are re really afraid of? What are they really afraid of? And they know that this guy doesn't really have any form of ammunition. If you are really sure of what you are uh, accusing him of, why can't you let the judge go through all of those things and let there be you know, thorough investigation? Which, what is all of this? Is The whole world is just looking at us. And this is the man they will call integrity. No, he has integrity. What kind of a thing is this? And they, to the extent that they had to chase the judge away and injure, you know, one journalist. We are going to be getting details of all of these things. This is really, really pathetic, honestly, if you ask me. You know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, this guy might be rearrested, that he needs to be careful, he really needs to watch his back. A lot of people were saying it yesterday as soon as he was released. Was it not just about 7 p.m. yesterday he was released? And just for them to just fix date again for the trial today, and this is what is happening. Why can't they allow due process to be followed let them follow due process accordingly what is all of this if you are sure of what you are accusing him of why can't you allow things to go smoothly 
you can imagine you can imagine it is really really unfortunate we don't even know where we are going and a lot of people and just the way some of people uh, some people have really expressed themselves that you know if you think that it's only oh it's because you are you are on the other side by the time the power power will change definitely you're still going to be on the other side so if this kind of a thing will be happening will you be happy if you are even trying to be on the side of a particular person that you love and the person is making mistakes and is doing things that are not right are you supposed to be happy about it are we supposed to be happy about all of this since this is really 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 pathetic where are we going to where are we going to in this country this is really unfortunate so guys i would like to hear from you what you think about this whole thing now where they have taken him to we don't know why they rearrested him now we don't know why the judge was chased away we don't know they will come and be telling us another thing they are just looking for ways but they are embarrassing themselves if they don't know if they think they are doing themselves or they are doing uh uh to them you know they are, they are they are i don't even know how to put it whether if they think they are, they are doing something that is right or they want to really cajole people or they want to really deceive people everybody already knows where they are going to because if you are not afraid of this particular person i don't know why you should be doing all of these things as if uh, we're in a banana republic of course that is just the way it's you know everything is going it's tending towards that that where have they taken him to why rearresting him the same formula the same system they use for dasuki and uh, Ezazaki, most especially Dasuki. As soon as the court will say, okay, release him on bail. Oh, before you know, they will rearrest him. Even at the, you know, coming out from the court. Even this one is even more, more even funny compared to Dasuki. Dasuki, maybe as soon as he will be coming out, as he was coming out from the court, they will rearrest him. They will look for another thing to another allegations. But in this case, it, the case was not so. That was not the, even the issue. It was right inside the court uh, room that all of these things happened. They disrupted everything. Everything, this thing happened inside the courtroom. And this is, we have not even heard this kind of a thing before. Why would the DSS be behaving like this? We have Fulani, Esme, who are killing people all over the place. Who are killing all people all over the place. And some of them will come back and say, oh, they have repented. Oh, they are not doing this and that. Or they will be justifying the reason why they are carrying the AK-47. The same president will be telling us, oh, they only, only carry six. At the end of the day, they started confessing that oh, the, the reason why they are carrying AK-47 because they are trying to protect, protect themselves. Are you supposed to do that? And there was a time too, they were saying, oh, oh everybody, anybody who has a, a gun should go and submit it. And meanwhile, this Fulani s they are still going about with their AK-47. DSS will not see them. They are always looking for people they want to use to shine. But you are not shining in this as it is because you are just embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing the whole country. The whole world is watching them. And this is the kind of country they want investors to come in. Which investor will want to open his or her eyes and come into this kind of country that this kind of a thing will be happening? And that's the more reason why they really want to regulate or to, to guard this uh, social media so that people will not be talking. How can this kind of a thing be happening and you expect people to keep, to keep quiet? Those who are supporting the government, do they want to tell us that this is how a government is supposed to be operating? Government agencies, they call themselves state security service they call themselves secret police is this how they are supposed to be behaving and they will be telling you oh uh, they they follow uh international best practices is this how to 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 uh, the best uh, practices is being done all over the place professionally that you just enter inside the court and start rough handling people disrupting this so they say you have to chase the judge away of course they come and be telling us cock and boot stories now where have they taken shiwore to that is what we we, are, we need to know where have they taken him to? Why are they rearresting him? At least if you want to rearrest him, you should give us, you know, let journalists interview you and tell us why you are rearresting him. And what is the outcome of today's uh, 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 case that you are just rearresting him? You scatter the whole thing. This is really unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Like I said, I don't know where we are going. And you see some people, they will be happy about it. They are happy about it. I believe most of the people who are really happy about it, they don't even know where they are going to. They don't even know where they are coming from. Even the present situation, they don't even understand what they, what they are even living for. What they are living for. As soon as it was released yesterday, the whole world heard about it. And what happened again today? You know, it has gone around the whole world. It has really gone around the whole world. So guys, I would like to hear from you what you think about this. And leave your comments below in the comment section and let's hear your own sake. Let, let's learn from you because let's know the way forward because this is really, really, really unfortunate. Thank you very much. Bye.